Death Valley. Same. It's hot. I don't see anyone. He'll be here. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. I didn't ask. I agree with Tobias. You've said that. Yes, and I'll say it again, Mr. Markham. It is unwise to tread these waters. Do you see any water around here? It's a figure of speech. You know, I'm just saying fire would be more appropriate, wouldn't it? I mean, isn't that more your thing, John? The point is, Mr. Markham, this isn't a game. Of course it's a game. It's a game of supply and demand. Water and fire. Too much of the one exhausts the other. It's the key to economics, gentlemen. Balance. Balance requires control. Control? Do you think this man will give you control? Do you even know who you're dealing with? What do you do, John, when church attendance drops? I write a sermon on the consequences of sin. People respond to conviction. You turn up the heat. You increase the demand. The supply stays the same, so you gotta throw a little fuel on the fire. Order and chaos, Father. Supply and demand. Water and fire. Control is an illusion. Boss, stop the car. Say anything? Don't do anything stupid. You're here. Yes, I am. Must say I'm surprised. The good man tells me to shy from fellas like yourselves. Is that right? Now don't go taking offense. I figure he just means the type of man to carry a lockbox like yourself. Although on account of not getting my fair share out and about, I suppose that's just spec mutilation. And who might these fine strappers be? My associates. Associates? Well, Jimmy, appears I wore my clubs they had today. Uh, they's got names. I haven't got to specify. This is uh, Tobias, my driver. And this is John, my, uh, my advisor. Pleasure's mine, gentlemen. I wonder if y'all might forgive me. I don't swiftly take well to strangers. But give me two clicks as the moon shines, and we'll be right as rain. I was always a touch on the jitterous side of the fence. More of I just hate surprises. Does me a darn stitch on account of not knowing all there is to know about to circumstantials. I like to think there's a sort of order in things, see? Uh, well, you understand there, Jimmy. You businessman, ain't you? That's right. I'm a businessman. I do business. That's why we're here. But, uh, mighty hot today. And I'm sure we're both eager to just get this over with, so if you'll now, just... Now, hey, now, don't you get short with me now, Jim. I clock you right out. We'll do what's what when the time's right. Now, by the good man's word, I'm supposed to make sure y'all know what you fix and do here for it's done. Once it's done, the deed's in stone. Mr. Markham, please, don't do this. There's still time to talk about this! Hey, Jacko. I did not ask for words from your yap trap, so I suggest you find a better place for them if I introduce a bullet to your grave. Jimmy, I know what the good man says and all, but Mr. Advisor Man here has been giving me some attitude. What's that? I teach him something. Now, now. I'm sure he meant no offense. Let's just all calm down, put our guns away, and do what we came here for. What kind of a prize does a man like yourself go for these days, Pops? It's not about the money. I warned him not to come here. You're here now, ain't you? 
Listen, uh, he's very sorry, as am I. We'll have a nice long talk about this later. But for now, let's just get back to our business.